Hey everyone, Leah here. It's been a long time ever since I've done an empties video and during that time I have accumulated a lot of skincare empties, makeup empties as well as hair care empties as well. There are a lot of great finds in here so I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown, a review on each product and I'll be letting you guys know if I would be repurchasing it or not. So the very first five products are actually very similar to one another. It gets compared a lot. So starting from Laneige Cream Skin, one of my holy grail products of all time. This is definitely one of my favorite, favorite moisturizing toning lotions and it's really, really great for dry, parched skin. So I typically use this more in fall, winter time and in summer months, I do agree that this is a little bit too much or too greasy or too moisturizing but I think this could be a really great moisturizer, like a liquid moisturizer during the summertime. I think this is actually incomparable and it's definitely my favorite, but I think in terms of the skin conditioning, it has like this silky, like beautiful texture that doesn't feel like it's unstable, if that makes sense. I think only formulators would know what I'm talking about. It feels like it's a well-formulated, very stable product. Um, so highly recommend this. I would repurchase. I, I have already repurchased this. I would repurchase it again. Next product is the same product as Laneige Cream Skin, but in a mist format. And this is basically the same formula, same product inside, but I really, really enjoyed it because I could carry this around um, to the office or in meetings. If I feel like my skin is really tight or parched, I would occasionally spray this on. The mist is so fine and beautiful, so you wouldn't feel like you're getting like attacked by the face mist i would definitely recommend this and would repurchase this again or i'll just probably decant this and put it in this mist um, bottle next product is very very similar to lineage cream skin it gets compared a lot in korea especially this is botanic heal bow derma intensive panthenol cream mist what's different from lineage cream skin is that this contains panthenol which is a really skin soothing and moisturizing hydrating ingredient it does I think actually add some hydration boost but I think in terms of moisture or hydration retention I do think the cream skin is far better and superior so this product also does contain metacosticide so if you are a fan of Sika products this may be your thing I do think this is a brilliant product the only con of this product was that it does contain fragrance and I'm not opposed to fragrance product at all but I do think the fragrance wasn't something that was pleasant to me personally um, I wouldn't be repurchasing this but I, if I do get it I would gladly use it um, next product a very similar item to this is I'm from Rice Toner. I know James Welsh loves this product and raves about this and a lot of you really really love this product as well. I can't stop comparing it to Laneige Cream Skin. I am a fan of Laneige over the Rice Toner. I think the Rice Toner like with this you're comparing it to apples and oranges. Definitely Rice Toner has that milky consistency and texture but it's not like as silky or as moisturizing as Laneige Cream Skin. I think the rice toner is really great at evening out your skin complexion, but in terms of moisturizing or hydrating, um, Laneige Cream Skin is far better. I think I wouldn't be repurchasing it, but again, if I get this product, I would also gladly use it. Next, we have another very similar product. This is Good Light Beauty's Moon Glow Milky Toning Lotion. I gotta say that this is my second bottle that I emptied. I have really, really enjoyed it and how it compares to Laneige Cream Skin, I think it's very, very similar. However, I would have to say the Good Light one has a little bit less moisture, so making it a little bit more friendlier for those who have oily, dehydrated skin. I actually have no problem using this product during the height of summertime. Um, it served me really, really well and I think it does really condition and smoothens your skin so, so, so well. This product does contain essential oils, however, I can't really smell anything. It's not really overpowering or sensitizing your skin at all. I think this has a very pleasant sensorial experience overall. So I would definitely repurchase this again. We have another facial mist here. This is from Cioris, Falling into the Rose Mist. And this is a newer addition to their family. I think it launched this year. I have to say that I much prefer the Time is Running Out Mist. And I don't know what it is for me. The um, falling into the Rose Mist definitely feels a little bit lighter. It contains Olein oil and Argan oil. 
um, it definitely feels a little bit more summery than the time is running out mist but it has like a very like rosy floral scent to it which i'm not really a fan of and this is just my personal preference i really really do enjoy time is running out mist a lot more i think it suits my skin type a lot better so this one i won't be repurchasing it but it was definitely a decent product Moving on to the moisturizer category, I have emptied four different moisturizers and I am so proud of myself. So first things first, we have the Oats Simple Water Cream from Crave Beauty that uses fewer than 10 ingredients and uses oat as a main extract to soothe and hydrate the skin. This is like a perfect, perfect summer moisturizer. I know that this is a little bit too lightweight for winter time. That's definitely the customer's feedback that we do get. Um, but in the height of a sizzling hot and super humid weather outside, this can't be like more perfect. I have enjoyed this, devoured this completely. I think this would be really nice for anyone who just loves to use a lot of active skincare ingredients. But then for their moisturizer, all they need is just a good old simple hydration. And this just adds a boost of like water bursting hydration and then adds a little bit of moisture. It's a perfect base for makeup as well. So definitely enjoy this during the summertime. Um, next moisturizer we have here is Primera Alpine Berry Water Cream. I think I emptied this a while back, probably in the winter time. And I think this product is definitely one of the best moisturizers out there in terms of how it works so well for different skin types whether you have acne whether you have oily skin or dry skin i've recommended this to anyone and and they all had only positive things to say about this product so i think this is a moisturizer that perfectly nails on how to be universal i think it's also a very timeless product that i've been you know really enjoying for years and years and I would definitely repurchase this as well. Next, we have a high-end moisturizer from Circumference. This is Active Restorative Moisturizing Cream. Circumference is a skincare brand that's based in New York that's founded by Korean Americans. So definitely love supporting my people out there doing really, really noble job in terms of sustainability. I know Circumference is definitely more high-end. I mean, this moisturizer was over $100. So I don't know if I will be able to repurchase it until I go through everything in my skincare closet. But the whole cream was built on a zero waste story. I know they work a lot in sustainable sourcing. So I was definitely intrigued to try it out and also support what they are doing. And the blend of all the nourishing antioxidant botanicals definitely give you that kind of spa vibe. And the product is super buttery, so it's definitely a great cream or a moisturizer for drier, parched skin. I don't think I'll be repurchasing this, but it was a beautiful, beautiful, buttery, rich cream. This is a moisturizer from another Korean skincare brand called Han Skin. It's called Real Complexion Hyaluron Moisture Cream. I actually love the essence version of it. I thought that was a really beautiful, like humectant, rich, hydrating essence that was perfect for summertime. This product I had high hopes because I really, really loved and enjoyed the essence. This is a gel moisturizer. This is probably one of the worst gel moisturizers that I've tried just because it leaves a really thick like plastic wrap like film behind that can pill if you layer a sunscreen or makeup on top of it and it just doesn't feel like your skin is absorbing anything into the skin so it just felt weird um, it wasn't lightweight or anything, so I don't think it will be really great for acne prone skin. I just didn't really have a pleasant experience, but I wanted to be a very responsible earth citizen. So I applied it all of my body throughout the summertime. So I did completely empty it. I would not be repurchasing this. Moving on to some makeup products that I emptied, starting from this guy from Maybelline. This is Fit Me Concealer. I think I've used this for over 12 years now. Um, not this particular bottle, but I've been using the same product over and over again, and I'll definitely repurchase it. I think this is by far the most natural and skin-fitting concealer that doesn't look like you have like a lot of makeup on or it doesn't cake up at all so if you are foundation free like me on top of the sunscreen using fit me concealer it just looks like you have very naturally um perfect or flawless skin so i love the maybelline fit me concealer definitely will repurchase again 
Another concealer that I did try out this year was Rare Beauty Concealer. It is a makeup brand that's founded by Selena Gomez. I was super intrigued by their branding and packaging. The product, I think it was a very, very decent product but it was a lot thicker than I would have hoped for this product to be, especially compared to the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer. This was definitely on a little bit more cakey side or more you know, obvious that you have some concealer on or makeup on. However, the coverage was definitely full coverage, so it would hide any pimple or any spots that you would like to conceal. So it does the job, I wouldn't be repurchasing it though. Next, we have the OG Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is an eyeshadow primer that locks your eyeshadow in place so it doesn't crease or it doesn't fade too quickly. I actually really enjoyed this. I mean, this is an OG classic cult favorite product, but I think there are definitely a lot of drugstore alternatives out there. So I wouldn't be repurchasing this necessarily, but it is a product that really works. Brow pencils. This is Holika Holika Skinny Eyebrow. I always get this from YesStyle or any type of skinny eyebrow pencil um, that's like a dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills, like skinny brow or like Benefit brow pencil. This works as good as those high end or like prestige products. So I have no complaint about this, it, it works. And I will definitely repurchase this. Some mascaras that I emptied. I actually really enjoyed the Maybelline Magnum Big Shot Mascara and I'm still using other Maybelline mascara. I think Maybelline really does make good mascaras for Asian lashes that are really stiff and very straight. So I really enjoyed these two. It's a very, very volumizing as well. And I would repurchase these, of course. Moving on to hair care, the very first product, I unfortunately don't have it with me physically because I already recycled it, but it's a product that I think it's one of the greatest find out there and I was pleasantly surprised or even shocked by how well it works on my hair. I hope you guys try it too, it's a drugstore product and it is L'Oreal 8 Second Wonder Water Conditioner. It's a water type of conditioner that you use it in the shower in replacement with your like lotion type or creamy emulsion type conditioner. It works so well. I first had so much doubt about this product because it just doesn't look like, you know, it would do anything, but this magical wonder water did smoothen my my hair in eight seconds or like in the time that i was in a shower it smoothens your hair so well it, it detangles your hair so well i'm gonna include like the science behind this technology down below because i think one of the instagrammers that i do follow she broke it down so brilliantly explaining everything about how this works and it's just something that i was like blown away by and it's a product that i would definitely repurchase though the fragrance is really overpowering um, and it's not really a pleasant like citrusy smell it's a very heavy like musky floral scent that i'm not really a fan of so that's the only drawback that i have but i think still i would purchase it last but not least we have overtone daily conditioner that deposits the color back to your hair so if you have colored hair like me which i do in pink that faded so quickly within two weeks and i was so frustrated because the amount of work that went into bleaching the hair and uh, dyeing it pink i thought it would last more than that but because your color can fade so quickly, um, a lot of people or even my hairdresser recommended me to use a color conditioner. So something like this overtone was definitely recommended by a lot of you guys on Instagram when I asked. So I got the little like mini trial size in a few different colors. I think it definitely works in depositing the color back into your hair for sure. I don't know how um, good it is for your hair because you're basically kind of like semi dyeing your hair um, each wash. So I try to use it like once a week or once every two weeks. But I gotta say that it does work in coloring your hair. So this is the color that I got from using that vibrant pink color from Overtone. I have the rose gold color and I have a pastel pink color. So I'm going to experiment with all the different colors and maybe I'll do like blue or, you know, purple down the road. But I think it does work. I just don't know how good it is for the hair. So I'm just using it sparingly, but I think I would repurchase it. Yeah. 
So that was it for today's video. Again, in order for us to be a very sustainable and responsible beauty consumer, I think it's very, very important to first buy intentionally and buy responsibly, buy only what you need, not everything that you want. And secondly, to finish and commit to all of your products once you do get it. Um, I'm trying to be as responsible as possible. If it doesn't work on my face, I would use it all over my body and it will work beautifully. And yeah, that is my tip to become a little bit more sustainable and become a more responsible earth citizen. And for everyone who's watching this video, I highly encourage you to find out what your local recycling guidelines are, what's recyclable and what's non-recyclable, making sure that you know, you know which products are recycled in your area and also ask the brand how to recycle the product if there isn't a readily available information out there. Um, a lot of the beauty products unfortunately are not recyclable. For instance, mascaras are never going to be recyclable. But yes, again, knowledge is power and I appreciate you guys making it to the end. I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye!